Okay. <laughs> Shall we give it a go? Yep. All right. My presentation is uh, about nine clicks and my C11 experience. Um, who am I? I'm Lapman. What's Lapman? Uh, I work for Eve News. Done this for four years. Uh, I'm in charge of it, so that means that I hire staff. Um, you can ask Amy Muffmuff about my management skills. It's great. Um, <laughs> I was a player presenter for Eve TV. Uh, this was two years ago. Uh, I helped out last year a bit as well at FanFest. Uh, and I'm a member of Pandemic Legion, so I can't uh, <laughs> Mixed emotion. Uh, and I'm a member of Habit, uh, which is led by Lee Swengolf, who I will name a little. <laughs> So what's the CSM? Uh, CSM stands for Council of Stellar Management. It's 14 elected players. Um, and these players that I think they're very important and you should vote for them. Uh, and they're great guys. Uh, they basically work with CCP uh, on the development of the game, which means that if they, for example, have a ID uh, that they're working on, they approach that team and be like, hey dudes, so we are uh, thinking about making this in the game, what do you guys think? And then we, you know, we say it's great, it sucks, uh, you know, you should maybe look at, uh, look at the topic from this angle or um, stuff like that. And the CSM can also like point out things that are happening within the community. For example, you know, if there's a bug, um, you know, you, the CSM will approach CSP and be like, hey, this is buggy, please fix. Uh, and they, you know, we, we can give them a heads up about that. Um, it's really interesting. Um, and so I've run now for two years. This year I got in. Last year I didn't. Uh, and this is the part where Elise Randolph gave me a pat on the back after I heard he didn't get in the first time. Um, you might know him from this picture or this. <laughs> <laughs> and he told me, Bob, you know, I didn't get in the first time. Try again. And so I did. And he said, well, if you, if you run twice, you there's a very big chance you get in. And so now I want to take you to the moment where my experience basically started. And you're going to see if this video works. So let's take a look at the election results. In no particular order, uh, here are the new council members. Steve Ronekin of Fuzzwork Enterprises. <laughs> Solon Decimus of The Bastion. The Judge, Circle of Two. Favor, Northern Coalition. Newman of Hard Knocks. Jin Tan of CBA. Kyle of Partners from The Division. And nominate, Goonswarm Federation. Online, Pandemic Legion. <laughs> So, I cannot stress you, the feeling you have, you know, having run as a CSM member, you sit there in the audience, uh, and it takes, a, you know, it takes up a lot of energy to run for CSM. You, you've talked with a bunch of podcasts, like you have interviews, you get scrutinized on Reddit, great. Um, and you sit there in the audience, and this is, like, this was probably the most special moment I have ever had in EVE, where I saw my name up there, and suddenly I realized all the hard work you put into, you know, convincing people to vote for you, and it actually worked out. Uh, I didn't sit much longer in the audience, because I was so happy that I ran out and, like, sprinted through Harpa, like, 15 times. <laughs> and um, that was a really good feeling, and I just wanted to show you where it all started, because it was quite amazing. And, uh, well, we have a bunch of, this is actually not an accurate picture because with the CSM we have a bunch of uh, permanent entities. Uh, it's Aerith, Mr. Hyde, and I believe it's... Yeah, so it's Judge and Steve. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and those guys are basically, um, well, it doesn't, it's, they are always members of the, uh, like, for example, when we have the summit, those guys will always be flown in. They had the most votes. Uh, however, we did such a great job this year that CCP has decided for an upcoming summit to fly us all in again. So, yeah. uh, 
So I guess it's great to be permanent. Um, and so when you see that result, you got very happy. <laughs> um, and so yeah, basically as a CSM member, what do you do when you get in? Um, Recommunication with CCP means that you have weekly meetings. This is a meeting that we have with CCP Logic Pro, CCP Guard, and we basically go over uh, everything that happened within that week. Uh, and if we feel there's anything important that uh, CCP needs to uh, look at, for example, we tell, we tell Logic Pro like, "Hey, this is happening within the community. You should, you guys should probably be aware of it." Uh, then we have monthly producers meetings where we discuss more of the, the plan that each producer of each team at CCP is working on. Uh, so for example, we talk with uh, Shana, or CCP Mimic, sorry about that, uh, who uh, is the producer of Team 5.0, uh, the team from Fossey for example, um, and we just have a chat about that. Uh, we have a server, or like a sort of a Slack channel, so different program, but I'm not sure if I can name the program, so I won't. Uh, we have their daily chatting with them, so, you know, it's just a big Slack group, you, you do it the same as with your alliance, you know, you just chat with the different teams within CCP, and then we have two summits, uh, normally there are two summits in the year that you are elected, which means that CCP flies you out to Iceland for a week, uh, and that week consists of like eight hours of chatting with them about uh, specific topics, and I will tell you more about that in a second. Eight hours drinking. Well, that too. <laughs> Unless you name Jim Tan and one hour is maybe Max. Joke, joke, joke. Love you. Um, communication with players. So, what do we do? There's a bunch of podcasts. Uh, for example, one of the bigger podcasts that I actually saw about the season was with. Uh, Apophony, who leads that. Um, I personally did a podcast with Jeff Rader, um, which was at like 2 o'clock in the morning for me until 5 in the morning, so that was great the next day for school. <laughs> yeah. uh, then we, had, we organized some round tables, we did top, like town halls, uh, we had, um, a, for example, a HiSec Wardek um, round table, which was interesting. Uh, I unfortunately couldn't talk in that as much as I wanted to, but I listened to everything and was, I believe, for the summit, so you know, you could write down some of the things that they said and use that in the summit. Um, there were a bunch of other round tables that I literally just forgot which we had, but it was all very interesting. And like, at the round tables, it's very good because a CSM member doesn't, like, being a CSM member doesn't mean you have to know about every topic. Uh, what you want to do is you want to have the right context that you can ask, like, hey, you know, big FCs, like, hey, guys, you know, what's happening within. What's happening, or if they have a problem, that they approach you. And so, those roundtables really give us a good, good idea about what was happening in that specific area of the game. And then we have the forums or Reddit and stuff like that, where you know a, lot, a bunch of the bugs that uh, are happening or are in the game, you know, they they, uh, they show that to us, and then we are able to uh, post them in the right place. And actually, that's a, that's a very good amount of bugs that. Um, that get posted on Reddit that are actually quite interesting. For example, recently something that I picked up at least was the um, um, when you doomsday, it's, you get a little icon that prevents you from warping, but it looks like you're actually hick pointed. And if you doomsday and you get like icon that you're hick pointed, that's kind of scary. So, you know, it's something that we picked up. <coughs> you know, it's something that might be a, as a better icon. Um, so, again, the summit. Uh, it's a week of meetings with CCP at the HQ, discussing very important things. As you can see, very important things. We, uh, we came up with this in the morning when we uh, were waiting for the meetings to start. So, I think it's a good change, right? Good change. Um, so, the summit, what does it consist of? First part, which was probably the most interesting of all, was getting to know each other. Um, and then it's also the office meetings and public meetings. And getting to know each other really had a like, like this. Literally the first day that we came into the hotel, uh, which most of us were there at the end uh, of the day, we sat down and this is actually the breakout point in our like, uh, hotel floor. So we camped that. There's the elevators there in the corner, which is quite funny when people walk past us looking at us like, what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> but yeah, we just had a, a beer and actually on this picture you see Nash uh, explaining us the importance of rules and like his, his whole setup, he, as you can see, he's a quite interesting guy. He has good ideas. Um, at this moment, we also recruited. 
Uh, and, and Jin is a really lovable person, like Zneria and Jin, you know, it's a... <laughs> um, and with getting to know each other also comes, as you can see in this picture, you know, and, and right now me standing on stage, it comes with a bit of trolling. And who of you know Mr. Hyde? Please show, raise your hand. So. And do you guys know the, the main problem that Mr. Hyde has within this game? Exactly. So what do you do when Mr. Hyde is doing an interview for O7 show? <laughs> As you can see, that's my arm. That, that's the roster. Yeah. That's about to come. Spoilers. So this was a small Freya. You know, the bigger the better, right? <laughs> As you can see, he was very happy. And, um, so yeah, that was really getting to know each other, you know, getting to know each other by drinking a few beers, uh, basically seeing what everybody was up to. And we actually, I think, um, the summit went very well. And I think that was largely uh, to do with us all 14 being there and all of us, like, actually chatting with each other uh, before and getting to know each other. You just, you, you just know each other for more hours than just instantly getting into a meeting room and, Discussing so yeah, the office meetings, they look like this. As you can see, I was about to raise a very important point. I was sitting there. And she's be right, sitting there. Um, and I think this was the moment where we were actually having a very interesting discussion about the alpha clones. Um, I think this was actually the meeting that we did uh, about like what kind of restrictions should they have. It was really like actually a very interesting discussion. As you can see, everybody was listening. Uh, it was in the HQ of CCP. Um, you see Steve sitting with his back to the picture. You see everybody. Um, and on this picture, you can actually see how many CCP dudes are actually, you know, in those meetings. And that's it's awesome. It's not like we're talking with only one CCP dude. It's actually the whole team being interested to talk with us. So you see CCP Cognac. Um, let's see, I forgot his name, but he's been working for CCP very long. CCP Rice, uh, CCP Guard, uh, Logic OSA saying behind this guy. Typing away furiously for you guys to see the minutes. Um, and with these meetings, there's a very important rule that we all agreed on at the beginning. And it's a rule that basically allows us to do our job, and it's the hashtag no leaks. Uh, as much fun it might be for you guys to get to know the stuff that we're talking about, it's all stuff that's in development. So if you if it's you know if those stuff that we talk about at the summit, for example, gets out, it's not the finished product. So, you know, it's, it's not something that CCP is ready to release for a few weeks. So this is, actually, it, was, it didn't happen at the summit at all, so that's great. So the schedule of the summit looked like this. Actually, this was the first schedule that was released on the forums. Uh, we actually had some interesting discussions on some of these topics, okay. so we added them to Thursday in the uh, afternoon. So we actually had uh, full days of chatting. Um, as you can see, we have a, you know, a summit welcome, um, Eve's roadmap, like, what's the future? The summit welcome was also led by CCP Siegel, who gave us a chat about, like, how does CCP work as a company? Um, like, how do, where are the teams and, you know, which department, and how does that all work? It's very interesting to know, if, as a CSM member, because it, like, makes you understand uh, how to approach the parts of, uh, you know, bringing up a topic. Um, you know, we had Eve Brands, and Eve Brands was actually a lot about the new mobile app uh, that you guys all have seen, which was interesting. Clone stage, Eve Metrics, uh, actually the presentation of CCP Quant that happened yesterday was a lot like the one that he had at the CSM or at the summit. Uh, we had some questions for him, and he, you know, he, he did the live metrics, which was really interesting to see. Uh, we talked about structures, balancing uh, customer support as well with the GMs, which was really interesting to see how that works. Uh, it's great to see that they're actually working towards improving that and improving that, so you know, they have some awesome things that players now get, if, even if a petition is delayed and stuff like that. We talk about Wormels. Wormels was actually mostly led by Nukeman, uh, who had like, a ton of information for CCP, which was really interesting. Especially for, for me that, you know, I wasn't a Wormel, got kicked out instantly. So, you know, it's interesting to see how Wormels work from a higher uh, position as an FC. So after these um, office meetings, as I call them. There's pub meetings. And they look like this. Like this. Um, and you might think that's like it's a vacation time or anything. 
But actually, a lot of the um, discussions that we talked about the next day were brought up in these pub meetings, or like parts that weren't scheduled. They came in through these meetings, and we, I, you kind of don't want to talk about Eve at, like when you get in the pub, but it goes automatically. And it's so interesting because actually, like these CSP dudes that you see, they actually ask us, "Hey, dudes, do you want to come out? Do you want to come to the pub?" Uh, they were very friendly with us, and you know. It's just amazing. It was actually a very good feeling. They, they, it gave you a feeling that they really appreciated the time and energy we put into this event. And actually, we're very interested to hear more and more and more about what we think of it. Um, as you can see, you know, where you can see Nash and his Cognac. This is the last picture of the sun. It's like bring your son to work day, but then the sun is It's great. Now you see Mr. Hyde and Cisco Rice discussing very important solo roaming tips and things, you know. Um, so, looking back at the summit, um, it was a very amazing experience. We basically had a week of being inside CCP's, you know, office, getting to know how they work from the inside, you know. We, had, we got offered free lunches every day, um, free, or like two dinners. Uh, and it's great just to see how, you know, certain CCP dudes work with each other as well. We, you really get a feeling on how the com uh, company works. Uh, we have very, like, many full discussions. We have all of the people attending. Uh, and I'm very much looking forward to the next summit, uh, which all 14 of us are invited again to go to. Don't know if all 14 will be there, but I hope so, and it will be amazing. Um, and actually, the community response to this CSM has been great. Last year was last year. <laughs> um, and it's been amazing to work with you guys. And it's been actually funny when people started to realize that this season is like, there's no disappointment. Like, people are disappointing us. I have all this tweet. I see some guard being really intimidated. And then you have like a couple of very big dudes in our season. But, you know, I found that very really funny. Um, so, some shout outs. I want to give a shout out to CSP Guard, CSP Logic Bro, who took over leading the CSM. Um, they did an amazing job. Like, they really put a lot of energy into us. They are always, like, we can always contact them if there's anything for the summit as well. Like, they're great. And CSP Siegel, who really, 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 really um, spent a lot of energy on the CSM. They, she really put in all the energy to make us able to do the things that we, you know, we want to do as a CSM. She, Tried, tried, she had, her husband was, I think, uh, gone on vacation or something, so she had her kid, but even when, you know, she had to take care of her kid, she tried to be at many of the meetings, uh, just, you know, maybe walking in for, for half an hour, but still being there, and it shows you how much she sees them, or how much she likes to talk to the students. Uh, and I want to thank everybody who voted. Like, I, I don't know how many vote, people voted in this audience. If you could raise your hand. It's actually, like, you would be surprised, but when, people, when this question gets asked at FanFest, it's not like this. So I want to thank you all for voting, and I would really suggest voting. Give yourself an applause. <laughs> <laughs> so we're almost, almost at the end, and I want to stress the like, importance for you to contact us. Like, if there's anything, and how do you do that? Feel free to contact your CSM through their in-game mail, their Twitter, if you want to come to the meetings, add Bob and Eve, it really doesn't matter about which topic. Um, like, if you have a good point. We are all on a tweet fleet Slack. Um, so yeah, if you have any ideas, any concerns, any bugs, especially bugs, if you run into a bug, make a bug report and then send us the code, because we are able to directly send them to the bug team uh, and get them solved quickly if they're very important. So really, like, do that. Use your CSS, uh, because they, they are able to do great things if you give them the right information. And, you know, I'm standing here alone, but I want to thank the whole team. And this is like the best picture was taken of us in front of the monument, you know, with all the player names you can see. It's all 14 on there. With CSP Falcon, CSP Lodge Bro, CSP Guard, CSP Siegel, CSP Favor, the boss man, like he's such a boss. Uh, so thanks guys, uh, and if you want to ask any questions, feel free to come to the mic and I'll answer. Yes, I, I know I called my presentation dang leaks, but <laughs> uh, I'll try to answer them the best as possible. So if you have any questions like about any topic, feel free. Uh,
Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah. Um, just one question. Um, I have a lot of friends I play with and they don't know about the CSM and uh, I always have a hard time to explain to them yeah. that it's important to vote. Yeah. Um, what would you say? What should I tell them in, in some sentences? Uh, why is it important to have a CSM and uh, vote for them? So, um, that's actually a very interesting question because there are a lot of people that um, don't know about the CSM or like don't really know what they do and don't see the importance of it. Well, I tell people that are out for, outside of our community that don't play always is that it's basically like a car company that contact their customer who always bought the same car. And they're like, so we're planning to make you know, a new version of this car. What do you think about it? And he's like, well, you know, the steering wheel, I should, you know, that, I want that different. And like it's basically, we help you bring in the points that make your game experience the best possible. So, like, we can't obviously do that for everybody, but in general we try to do that. Um, the importance of the CSM as well is that we really, really are like, it's very hard to explain because most of the stuff we can do that's, like, it's not really public, but it, it's just, like, we can, we are able to help give so much feedback to CCP and bring up points, and, like, you, it's very underestimated to see how many points of us uh, actually get brought into the game, so it's... Yeah, I would really suggest they the best community platform to use to contact CCP. I think that's the right explanation. Thank you. Any other questions or anything? So, if there's no more questions, leave me up to one thing. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Jintan is a hero amongst men. So, thanks guys for being here. Give yourself an applause. It's not the stuff he actually <laughs> prizes. <laughs> um, and I made a presentation again for the prizes because it's just much cooler. Prizes. Um, so, you know, we decided as a CSM to donate some prizes as well, and I organized it and paid for it. Um, and so, uh, we were thinking, I was thinking, like, what's fun to hand out? Uh, and I figured it would be fun to hand out all of our favorite ships. So I asked all the CSM members which ships we like. Uh, and it came to this point. <laughs> As you can see, Korsky really likes his Griffin Navy issue, which I have never flown. So. Uh, and the winner of these is actually three, three tickets again. It's Duncan Boshaus. Oh. 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 Oh, let's get that random dot. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, 247. Uh, too low. Let's see. Mark, can you smile? Do you hear? Nine? Bring up the name on the screen. Oh wait, you can't see it. No. It's Mark Engelsma. That's a very Dutch name, so you should be. No? Habit number one. Right. 
the map. Is that you? Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. So the second package he made is this one. It's Tom Huberty. Do you hear? No. Read the mark. Let's see. Who will it be? Uh, Chris Gearlings. Gearlings. K E. No? Gearlings. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's Paul Freeman. It's Paul Freeman. I can't do the uh, press release as well. Is he not here? Like, what do you guys do to these people? <laughs> <laughs> this is the song where you like where we play hard and fuck up, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Just give it. I can always keep it, right? One for nine. Let's see who this would be. Game show theme or something. Uh, Quentin Rice, Rich, Rich, Quentin Rich. <laughs> I think we have to contact our local the police department. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of nerds. Like, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> no, no. Sebastian Thune? Please <laughs> all come to the stage again. Okay, so it's only six people at least. So. So number five one is you. Congratulations. Yeah. That was it. Uh, the next presentation is at, uh, uh, it's Killabees. So it's going to be at, well, it's number two. Uh, it will be really interesting. Uh, if you want a prize, please come forward. Also, one quick mention, and this was kind of sad. This is kind of sad news. So there was one dude uh, driving up to Evesham to be here today. Uh, he got in a car crash. Uh, he's fine, he just has his leg is a bit hurt, but uh, I gave him two plexus just, you know, to cover up. It's awesome. Uh, actually, I've got one more plex. If you use the, if you go to Twitter and you use like, at Easterdam hashtag Tweetfleet, and you get some funny pictures, uh, the winner of a fun picture gets a plex too, so, yeah. And then we have a Thank you guys for being here.